What's up, Vikings? Coach Vaughn here to show you how to graduate from two-handed 360s to single-arm 360s. This is something I highly advocate you do as you get stronger with your maces. Now, basic rule I like to say is if you can do, say, a 15-pound steel mace, 10 ton on each side with two hands, I say you can do it probably with a 10. So I'll be showing you with a 15. Now, when we do the two-handed 360, it's in the midline of my spine right here. It's, it's very much representing my posture right here. And that's so we can keep the elbows down, lats are connected, both sides are working there. So with, this, with the single arm though, I reference you should go a little bit off to your side. This gives you a little more lat connections you see here. So we're not dumping, you're not fighting it, because if you have it like this, trying to do it with a single arm, now your, your lat can't connect as well. And that's why it feels very wobbly. So just simply get that elbow connected to the rib cage right there. You're gonna feel way more lat connection and use this free hand to kind of keep this off to the side there. See that? So we're still gonna have that push, pendulum, pull, and pause with all four of those. So push around my shoulders. I'm gonna pendulum, pull, and pause right there. See that? I can use that free hand. And what I don't wanna do here is let it helicopter and it builds and builds and builds to the point it's gonna give you a lot of elbow, shoulder, and wrist pain there. We want to pause each rep there. Use the free hand, pushing, pendulum, and pull. Now, a lot of people have a problem with that pull position there, and they'll, they'll muscle it like this. It goes back over the shoulder and kind of dip down like that. This is where I reference you should use steel clubs with a pullover. This is gonna get you a little bit stronger with that. So for example, look at that, same, same position. I got that side stack right there. I'm going to push it over, and what we're trying to do here is get a good brace in the abdomen. It's not just your lats, your abdomen has to brace like it's getting punched in the stomach because we don't want to do this, a rib flare. That's why I know people get low back pain. That's another reason why the, the steel mace hits you in the low back is because you're likely doing a rib flare. So hide the ribs down. Pull it in nice and tight there. See that? Pull over, pull it in tight to the lat. So steel clubs can really help you out with your mace training when going with single arm, that pull pause position really works great with the steel club pullover. So if I apply that, going back to the mace, get that nice and set up. So you can set up vertical slack right here and then kind of get it off to the side, like I said. Okay, I'm getting set up. Push, pendulum, pull and pause. Use that free hand. As you get stronger with it, you're gonna notice you're not gonna wanna need to use it because you're locking it in to the lat every single rep. See that? And you want to get both sides. I always tell people you got a strong and stronger side. We're going to have one that's going to be a little more wonkier than the other. That's normal. As long as you practice owning each rep, doing no more, and it's in 10 reps, you're going to be fine, and you're going to graduate to that single arm 360s. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you like more, check out my paperback book, and the Steel Mace where it shows you way more than just 360s. It's available on Amazon.com. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.